Let me show you guys how I season my carne asada for when I'm making tacos. Always get a cut with a little bit of fat because fat is flavor. I think this is the asmio. The first thing I added was lemon pepper. And let me tell you, Winko has a very tasty one for 88 cents. Then I add a little bit of sazon total, which has onion, garlic, cilantro, cumin, and just a little bit of salt. Red one is the carne asada mix, and it's a little spicy, and it's from Dos Pendejos. Then we add half a beer, and the other half, I'll drink it. My blender, I add a quarter piece of onion, four garlic cloves, peppercorns, and lime juice. And that's what I just put in there. I also add some onions, and sometimes I add cilantro, I didn't have any. You can also add a little bit of orange juice. But again, I didn't have any. I like to marinate it overnight, but two to three hours is fine. Just add a little bit of oil to whatever it is that you're cooking it on, whether it's your flat top, comal, your pan, it don't matter. Eat like nice and crispy. This carne asada was for the time that I made carne asada chile relleno tortas. Yeah, I know. I get crazy ideas, guys. What can I tell you? This one was another of my crazy ideas. It was a twice baked potato loaded with carne asada, all kinds of toppings, and some stuffed shrimpies. That's it, guys. That is one of the ways I season my carne asada. This recipe, bye. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a quick hack for those days that you need to pack lunch for your husband but you're too tired and you don't feel like cooking. All you need is whatever protein. I'm gonna use chicken but you can use chicken, pork, shrimp, chicken nuggets, it don't even matter. Veggies. Cut up whatever leftover veggies you got in your fridge. I know you got half cut up veggies in there because I always do. Throw them into your cooked chicken and let them cook. Now we need a starch. I'm gonna use some Chinese noodles but you can use whatever you have plain white rice or even maruchans, it don't matter. He won't even know. Now we need a sauce. I'm gonna use these lemongrass barbecue little packets from Amsang, but you can use whatever you got. Ketchup, orange chicken, teriyaki, it don't matter. And to really trick him into thinking he's eating something super fancy, I like to make soft boiled eggs. Eggs honestly make a difference to me. I'm just gonna season them up with a little bit of everything bagel, garnish everything with green onions, and that's it. You have your lunch ready in under 20 minutes, so you or your husband don't starve at work. That's it guys, hope you like this recipe. Bye. show you guys a quick childhood recipe that my mom claimed had every vitamin ever existed would make you super strong did everything even your taxes so pay attention to your pan you're gonna add a little bit of butter or oil fry up some rice with onion and garlic let it get nice and crispy before adding the magic juice according to her the secret was in the juice of the frijoles recién cocido the broth of freshly made beans i don't know guys help me out here so the liquid that we're gonna use to cook your rice is gonna be the broth from your beans according to her they had to bottle this liquid up and start selling it in pharmacies because it was magical low-key i feel like she was just trying to make us eat because she never fed us this as teenagers we would just eat it because we thought it was gonna make us strong but also because it is bomb so that is one of the main reasons why i started making this for my kids this is gonna be joseph's lunch because he needs the extra vitamins and power because he don't eat shit anyways we're gonna season it up cover it up and let this cook for 25 minutes sometimes i make it extra soupy i just put it in a bowl sprinkle some queso fresco and avocado and i just sit and eat it like that but again this is joseph i'm still trying to figure out this kid i need to make it extra special in order for him to eat it he thinks he's a big boy and he's going to school so putting it in a little school lunch thingy will make him eat a little I just sprinkled a little bit of queso fresco shredded chicken some avocado and cut up some fruit for him the excitement this kid gets when i give him the box and he gets to open it by the way he calls that box his school he did have a banana for breakfast and that carrot that you see on the back so that's why his shirt's dirty so do not judge him he always goes straight for the cucumbers uh and did not eat the beans but he did made it up by eating some chicken and for his drink he had a strawberry horchata and that's it guys hope you like this recipe bye Let's pack today's lunchbox for our friends and followers. Since today's Friday, I decided to spoil them a little bit by making them some shrimp empanadas. We're gonna begin by making the filling that's gonna go inside of our empanadas. So to your pan, you're gonna saute a little bit of garlic, onion, peppers, and tomatoes. Once that's ready, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter because I want to for adding our chopped up shrimpies. And make sure you chop them up or else we're gonna have some hard time stuffing those empanadas. Don't forget to season things up, guys. Once it's ready, you're gonna let this cool off while we go make our masa. Here, I have three chile guajillos that I already boiled with a quarter piece of onion, two cups of masa guy make sure you check in case it doesn't have any extra protein you know tiktok has me traumatized they get worms guys no extra protein on this one anyways you're gonna blend up your chiles add them to the masa because we're gonna give the masa a nice red color like this and using your tortilla press or a plate or if you're a badass your hands it doesn't matter the whole point is that we need to make a tortilla then you stuff them using your cheese of choice i'm gonna use oaxaca and mozzarella which i highly recommend if you want a nice cheese pool then you close them up making sure that you crimp up all the edges to make sure that nothing leaves 
leaks out of your empanada especially when it's frying because if it does oil is going to be jumping everywhere and you're going to burn yourself don't say i didn't warn you once you have all your empanadas ready then you can take them to the oil so they can get nice and crispy on both sides and while they drain i'm going to make a jalapeno lime salsa that's going to go perfect for these empanadas it's basically what you hear jalapenos and limes just add a couple of garlic cloves a quarter piece of onion and then you blend into smooth then i put them in small little containers along with the side of an avocado cilantro sour cream every order is going to get three of these empanadas and i'm going to put the toppings on the side which is just lettuce tomatoes and then some cebollas curtidas with some jalapenos because not a lot of people like the toppings and this is what the empanada looked like from the inside just take a look at that cheese pool we're also going to get a little side of burning bajo hot sauce for the drink they had the option between a soda or a saffron infused lemonade and this time they chose both because some of them thought i was crazy but that's it guys i'm just going to get everything ready for them so they can come and pick up during lunchtime bye Let's pack today's lunchbox from our friends and followers. Today we're making them chile rellenos. Yeah, I know this lady, all she makes is chile rellenos. Well, they're bomb, what can I say? Anyways, we're going to char, de-seed, and peel our chiles, and then we stuff them with manchego, Oaxaca cheese, and some mozzarella. Then we close them up using the same amount of toothpicks, guys. We don't want no one to choke. Then we coat them in some flour. This is a very important step. If you don't coat them in flour, the egg batter is not gonna stick. The batter, I separate my egg yolks one at a time because if there's any, even the smallest amount of egg yolk in the egg whites they will not stiffen up no matter how hard you whip them but if my egg yolk breaks i'd rather throw away one egg yolk than the whole thing see how those egg whites ain't going nowhere i'm gonna add about a tablespoon of flour before slowly adding my egg yolks until everything is fully combined dip my chiles into my batter and then fry them up in some oil oh my gosh you're using too much oil well yes because i am frying them jeez i'm gonna flip them to make sure they're nice and golden on every single side then you take them out remove the toothpicks and here i am trying to show you guys how that cheese pool went around my block about seven times Times, it just kept going and going and we make our salsa using some tomatoes onion garlic and some guajillo we also got our mushy oil soup on deck also known as my mexican rice but i'm gonna add a little veggies just to make it a little healthier we're gonna place our chile on our box a ladle our delicious tomato based sauce all over our chiles then we add our mexican rice with some veggies and then a little side salad which is basically just some lettuce carrots tomatoes and cucumbers making chile rellenos is a pain in the ass i did not have a chance to make them an agua fresca so they're all gonna get a soda that's it guys i'm gonna hurry my ass up so they can come and pick up during lunchtime. Bye! Let me show you guys how I make the masa for my tamales. This is about six pounds of masa pa tamales already preparada. But just because it's already prepared for you doesn't mean you don't have to put some love. I'm still going to add more lard. I'm going to add about an extra cup of lard, a tablespoon of baking powder, a little bit of the sauce of whatever filling it is that you're making, enough chicken broth to leave the masa the consistency that you like it, and ice. The ice is so that the lard stays cold, making a fluffier tamal. Then you mix forever until your shoulder semi dislocates. We're going to pretend that this is pork. We're gonna cook our pork with half an onion half a garlic head bay leaves and chicken bouillon to our blender we have three peeled chile pasillas we're gonna add a quarter piece of onion a couple of garlic cloves a handful of cilantro some cumin and thyme salt chicken bouillon to taste then we add eight cooked tomatillos and four jalapenos i'm gonna tell you guys a secret do not add water to this sauce use your pork broth trust me people are gonna be questioning you and do not tell them the secret to a saucepan you're gonna add a little bit of oil fry a little piece of onion and then pour your sauce in there in other words you're going to fry the sauce once it comes to to a boil you're gonna add it to your pork mix everything together and let this simmer for about five to ten minutes then you let it cool off before stuffing all of your tamales and then i let them cook for about 45 to an hour i am gonna reserve a little bit of the sauce so i can drench my tamales with all that sauce then we add some queso fresco a little bit of sour cream and that's it guys that's how i make my tamales hope you like this recipe bye Let me show you guys a quick breakfast here at Nana Joe's. Here I have some pasilla peppers. I'm just going to char them up on my stovetop, peel them and deceive them. And then to the insides, we're going to stuff them with some crispy potatoes. Top them with your cheese of choice. I'm going to use some Oaxaca. Then I stick it into my air fryer until it gets small and melted. In my pan, I'm going to fry up a little bit of chorizo because we're going to make a chorizo sauce. In the blender, I have two tomatoes, quarter piece of onion and a jalapeno that I previously charred in my air fryer. A couple of garlic cloves, seasoned it up with a little bit of chicken bouillon, blend it up and then pour the sauce into the chorizo. As soon as the sauce comes to a boil it it's ready i'm gonna ladle a couple of spoonfuls to the bottom of my plate add a handful of some crispy tortilla chips this is basically gonna be the bed of our chile poblano we're gonna put our chile on top of our crispy tortilla chips then we sprinkle with lots of queso fresco all over our sauce chile everything then we drizzle it with a little bit of sour cream and some avocado sauce why am i still sprinkling cheese here 
Anyways, we're going to drizzle our sour cream, our avocado sauce, and then to top it all off, I'm going to add a sunny side up egg. Garnish it with a little bit of cilantro, and that's it, guys. So this is how I finesse the system here at Nana Joe's. I don't know what to call this breakfast, so if you guys can help me out in the comment section, that would be nice. But I hope you like this recipe. Bye!